This is a case demonstrating bone tunnel grafting after a failed ACL. The CT scan here of the left knee demonstrates widening of both the femoral and tibial tunnels after her previous ACL surgery. This amount of widening leads to a significant risk of failure after revision surgery. This is an arthroscopic view of the left knee demonstrating failure of the ACL graft and absence of any ACL graft material within the femoral notch. The previous femoral tunnel is then identified and prepared by placing a pin within the center of this and reaming the femoral tunnel to a fresh bleeding bony surface. The diameter of the femoral tunnel is noted and the same diameter femoral allograft bone plug is impacted into place up into the femoral tunnel. The bone graft essentially plugs the femoral tunnel and allows for bony ingrowth of the patient's own bone. Excess bone is then removed and smoothed to ensure smooth, easy motion of the knee during the recovery period. Similarly, a pin is placed in the tibial tunnel and sequential reaming is performed to clear the tunnel to a fresh bleeding surface of bone. The bone dowels are similarly impacted into place and then excess bone is again removed and contoured. Here is a final look at the tibial graft. The goal is now to allow the patient's body to incorporate her own bone within these tunnels, and when appropriate healing is confirmed, the second stage ACL reconstruction may be performed. Here we are four months later after x-rays and a CT scan demonstrated appropriate incorporation of the bone grafts. Here we can see the previously placed femoral bone dowel within the tunnel which has incorporated nicely into the patient's native bone and remains very stable. Similarly, we can see the tibial bone graft, which is also incorporated nicely with adequate incorporation of bone within both the femur and tibia. We can now proceed with a standard ACL reconstruction utilizing native bone tunnels, which can be appropriately placed in the anatomic position.